Hello, Farrell and Tally here Hello. from Board of It. And today we are going to be reviewing the Megan table. <laughs> uh, we also have a Megan here. We can review her too somewhere. <laughs> we'll show her later. Naughty little dog. Naughty little dog. But five out of five stars. Five out of five, five out of seven. <laughs> so we're all the way over here in the background so we can get the shot of the table in. Yeah. Uh, one thing that's really important to note at the very start of this video is that we are doing this review and in exchange we get 30% off the table. But it's also important to know that from our point of view we were buying it anyway. Yes. So the actual order of events was we uh, contacted Geek and & Son and then we got a price and we paid the deposit and then they came back to us and said, you know, exchange for review would get 30% off, but we were going to buy this anyway, uh, essentially, regardless. Yeah. So, yeah, so you also need to know that, but also we're going to do it. We've wanted one for a long time. Yeah. Um, but professional integrity. Professional integrity, of course. <laughs> so, do you want to start? Yes. So, this is our beautiful new board game slash <laughs> dining table which we are absolutely thrilled with. Yeah. It's by Geek & Son, like you said, I think they're probably one of the leaders for board at gaming tables, for Europe at least. This is the Megan table, like you said, it's the Megan Large, and it's the larger size of the model Megan Large. Yeah, why, uh, do, you think, why do things by half, right? Yes, exactly, we thought might as well just go for it. Yeah. So we have color, it's oak in natural yeah. oil, um, it's absolutely stunning. In word anyway. Yes. So, I mean, what even is a board game table, right? This is something that I've had to explain to a lot of my mm. friends and colleagues exactly. um, every time I've said, we're getting our board game table delivered this weekend, met with like confused, bamboozled yeah. faces. So this for us is our main dining room table. We can use this as a regular table. But what makes it a board gaming table is that these leaves individually come off to reveal a recess underneath that is felted, uh, coated in felt, which then it looks like, you know, a table that you would get at a casino. Yeah. So what this means is it's um, functional because then you can pick up cards much more easy. You don't have to damage the top of your table because we're avid gamers, we're playing every day. Mm. It's very easy to kind of um, wear, the table down. wear the table down. But it also means that we can have a game set up underneath and then we can put the leaves back on and when people come around for dinner we're ready to have dinner and then yeah. we whip off the leaves and the game's already uh, set up underneath so particularly for us as reviewers it's incredibly useful exactly as we can have a game that we're kind of actually playing um you know for on top. yeah pleasure or like on top or underneath and then cover it up and use the top surf top surface for another game or yeah. filming or whatever we need to do which you'll see very soon yes um i guess just to say from what we can see up here there's also this leaf which has a special kind of recesses yeah, feature like, it has a special name counter holder leaf not that but something like that yeah you can put your little tokens in here and it's been uh, really useful in certain games i think one of the main ones was uh, ISS vanguard yeah had all the dice and stuff that was quite cool yeah easily accessible separated and like mm. in table organization yeah. which is very very cool and um, there's also underneath a card rail so that you can yeah. slot well, cards in as well but i'll start popping them off yes i think the last thing to note that is kind of an above feature and i actually don't think you know this yeah so it's actually some sort of uh i don't know if it's painted but there's like tm on the website patented uh, Geek and Sun, I don't know, water removal system. Right. So if you spill a drink, it like goes in here and it runs down the side. No. And then it like goes I did like, not know that. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That's like the little gaps basically and like the, the little uh, channels. So it will save the game underneath. Yeah, and the felt to so like run off. I'm not sure exactly where. That's absolutely Hopefully genius. on the floor. But yeah. Hopefully nobody's going to be spilling game on our beautiful table every time. Spilling game. Spilling. I think people are going to be spilling a lot of games on this table, that's the point. Spilling a drink. Yeah. I got so, like, sad by that thought that I didn't yeah. even speak. All right. So now, move the camera, and then I'll show you popping up the leaves. Megan! Megan! Here you can see the Megan, but that's the naughty one. So, 
cloth in the table. So there's a little thing under here, which we actually didn't realize at first. Didn't someone else find it? Your yes, friend. someone was inspecting the underneath of the table. Why? I don't know, mm. but a very good job. Yeah, I found this. So easily it just pops up. One thing to note though, is that these are actually really heavy. Yeah. Ugh, dogs everywhere. But as you can see, we've now revealed out, the beautiful felt layer recess underneath. We currently have Wingspan Asia set out here. So obviously this makes it a lot easier for you to grab cards than a surface which is more smooth. And also you can put your little cards in the card route there, which I think is super cool. It's very sleek. Nothing is super obvious. It's just so well built into the design and well integrated that it's just, yeah, you wouldn't even know that some of these features exist, right? But it's just very, very sleek and smooth. So you can easily see what cards you have there. Yeah, I mean, that's a fun thing, right, to uh, show people. And then you've got the, I believe it's called straight board, which you pop in to kind of close it off. So then you can have some stuff up here. Yeah. Obviously, you can have your, your little resources, get your wingspan eggs, get them all up there. Perfect. Uh, and obviously, it just closes up an area, makes it nice and neat and tidy. Yep. If you were throwing dice, maybe, something. you wouldn't want the whole expanse really cool. of the table. If yeah. there was only two of you throwing dice, it can be. I mean, we've, we've had it where we've had the full expanse, and sometimes the dice end up over there. Yeah, so that's true. This is a nice feature to close the space in if you, if you don't need it all. Um, one of the coolest things is that it also has a rail along the outer edge, which you can't really see from here, but you can put drinks holders on the rail and they, they clip on so they don't always have to be there. So we have a variety. We have a couple for like regular drinks, some for mugs. Yeah. This is for wine and martinis or gin glasses or anything like that. Obviously, you don't want to have glasses with drinks and everything on your beautiful felt layer. So you can just clip that into the side and have your drink ready, ready to go yeah. there. So <laughs> cool. And you can also actually buy... Uh, so this doesn't come with the table. These are on top, the drinks holders, which is important to know. Um, and... These, uh, you can buy other ones, not drink holders, but all kinds of different things. Yeah. Like there's one which attaches and it's like, uh, you can kind of buy like this, but to attach on. So you have little counter holders. There's a ton of different accessories. Yeah, there's ones and for right? uh, laptops. There's ones for if you're playing a role playing game for a DM. All these kind of things, basically. Yeah, so. and we customize our drink holders to what we need the most, but you could have four for mugs for example yeah. it's completely you know yeah. what is uh, to your needs yeah so is there anything else we haven't touched upon besides all the yeah i guess that the felt layer does it is removable oh, yeah. right in case That's you important. ever wanted to get a different color get a different color exactly i think there is six available on their website yeah so different we just ones. decided to go to for the blue one that was our favorite but you could easily swap it out if you wanted to yeah. for those other colors so that's pretty cool as well but yeah i think that's it for the features yeah i think the most important thing probably to say is that obviously we i mean we're like in love with the table we were in love with it before we got it in love with it after we got it uh but it's incredibly pricey yes it's so, definitely an investment piece exactly i mean this is one of the things right for us uh, like i said i mean we obviously ended up getting a discount which is like huge for us but we were gonna pay outright and it was going to be an investment and i mean for us we're playing board games almost every night yeah um we obviously like eating dinner most nights as well. <laughs> so that was the second bonus, so we can have a game and dinner. Yeah, you are making us sound classier than we really are. Sometimes we're on the sofa. A lot of times. But we also tend to host more than anyone else. So yes. it's kind of, there's a lot of things and we intend to have this table for decades. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, that's our perspective, right? The bottom line is that uh, you're going to have to decide if it's for you on your own. Okay. Uh, it's just, as we said, it's, re it's really hard to recommend um, based on the price, but hopefully we'll have it for decades, forever. Yeah, exactly. 
And Geek and Sun do a range of different tables actually. Mm -hmm. So even if you didn't have the space for the large, large, uh, or maybe you don't need one to function also as a dining table, they do kind of coffee table sized mm -hmm. ones as well. So there's really a range of different options that might suit yeah. what you need uh, from, from bigger to smaller. So check that out, different shapes, different wood finishes and different all sorts of things. Names. Different names so, as well. So yeah, like you said, you can go from the coffee Megan table up to the large, large Megan table. Uh, there's like the Dennis, I think. I think there's the Dennis, I was gonna say, that's the one that sticks out in my mind. Dennis, Dennis, there's a few others that you can check out. So there's kind of something for everyone. Yeah. If maybe also you're looking for something cheaper as well. Yeah. Um, and they actually also deliver it to you and set up in your house for you, which was quite a novel experience. Yeah. Uh, they emailed us the week before and I should say it only took like what, two months for us to get it? I think so. Which I don't know if that is a normal timeline, but I don't think they did anything special. They just had a batch of tables coming to be like coming up to be ready mm -hmm. when we ordered in the next couple of months. But they gave us, uh, they emailed us, said it's coming in a week, came in the time they said, and it was on a weekend as well, which was nice. Yeah. Um, and they put it together in like less than seven minutes. Yeah. It was wild. It was, it was really impressive. Obviously, very professional doing mm. this a lot, but we said to the, the um, we said to them, do you want a drink or something? Yeah. And they're just like, no, no, no worries. And I can see why, because they were just like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah. like cardboard, like done. Yeah, it's funny, the sandwich cardboard after. <laughs> and this table. So that you could say is our review of the Megan table. Uh, I think obviously we're in love with it, yes. but then also we're not average person. We review <laughs> board games, we play them every night. Uh, we host a lot. Yeah. So it's kind of got all these features for us where we can leave a game that we're reviewing under and still get to play in our spare time because a lot of time we can't if we're filming something intricate. We didn't used to be able to do that. So yeah. not that we lose a lot of time, but we lose a lot of playing time. Yeah, and honestly, it's just a beautiful table as a mm. dining table as it is. Like I obviously we, we chose the finish and the color and I wasn't quite sure what it would, would come out like in, in real life. but. I absolutely love it. It's just very neutral, fits in with the rest of the decor mm. very easily. Um, so yeah, just even as a standalone table. Well, I think I was more excited before it came, not that I wasn't after, but you <laughs> were more excited after it came. Yeah, I just, I knew it was, I knew it was going to be amazing and it would, you know, improve certain mm. things for us every night. But I was just so blown away by the quality that I got extra buzzed when, when I saw it. Just, yeah, yeah, I think it's really beautiful. So last thing is that if you do want to get anything from Geek & Sun, first of all, they've given us a discount code, yep. uh, which will be down below in the description. And second of all, there's going to be, I believe, a link. And if you use that link and you get anything from them, we will get a cut of the profits. It will go to the channel and uh, something we'd really appreciate since we don't ask for any money, we don't have a Patreon, we just put out videos for free. But also if you don't want to use it, that's fine too. <laughs> it's just a nice added bonus that we'll put back into the channel exactly. buying games to review. Yes. So really appreciate you watching. I hope it was helpful or at least interesting mm -hmm. to see behind the table. <laughs> and most importantly, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Love from us and the table. And dogs.